Hey guys, I'm Nathan with Bearded Appliance Repair, and we are going to cover um, a stacked GE washer. Uh, we're not going to cover the dryer in this. This video is only going to cover the washer. And if you need help with diagnosing it, y'all just stay tuned. Now, um, on this washer, there's something called diagnostics. And what diagnostics is, is a tool for technicians or somebody trying to diagnose this thing so you can uh, go into it uh, pretty much jailbreak the computer hack into it and test certain things you want to test so if you want to test a drain pump and a drain pump only you can if you want to test the hot water valve and hot water valve only you can if you want to get air codes off of it you can and we're going to show you how to do that in this video today um, just to let you guys know uh, what unit we're looking at um, I'll show you guys what it looks like right here. This is it. Um, on the left hand side is the washer and on the right hand side uh, that dial there is for the dryer. And we're going to get into diagnostics. That's the first thing we're going to do. And uh, we're also going to check air codes, see if there's any air codes on this thing. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that right now. Alright, getting into diagnostics. Two easy steps. Hold the start and the fabric softener button right next to it. Um, while you're doing that, turn the knob down to the 6 o'clock position and wait a few seconds and let go. Once you see all the lights blinking like that, you know you have made it into diagnostics. And from here, each direction that you put that knob in is a different test. Whether it's the hot valve, cold valve, diagnostics, drain pump, etc., uh, etc. Et so this first one here. This one is not being used for anything, so do not worry about that one. This one here says fabric softener button. Don't really know what that means, to be honest with you, so don't worry about that one either. This next one is air codes, and that on light illuminated, that means there is no codes. If there was a code, it would have like wash and rinse and lid lock or something like that. Um, number four, this is clear in your codes. You'd hit the start button, and you'll see that. And that will clear codes if you have fixed the issue where that air code come up on. Um, number five, this is a model code. Um, don't really need to know this, but uh, that's all it is, is a model code, so don't worry about it. Number six, this is where you enter or exit diagnostics. So you know how we held the buttons, went down to six, let go. You do the same thing to get out. All right, number seven. This is the spin shifter system. You hear that drain pump running? That was just a lid lock. And you see that white piece slowly going down. That's your shifter. After a while, it takes a while for that shifter to get down there, your motor comes on. Um, so yeah, that's the test for the shifter and the motor, the lid lock and the drain pump, all of them at the same time. Anyways, um, we're going to let this motor slow down. This next test, drain pump. You hit start, drain pump should come on. And that's the drain pump. She's running, sounding good. No problem there. We come back up, go up to the next uh, number nine. Agitate. You hit that start, you hear that water come on. Because this thing will not agitate until it fills up with water. So you let it fill up all the way. And eventually, this thing will start to agitate. <laughs> so we'll just wait for it here. Give it a little bit. There she goes. Agitate test works. Next test. Number 10. Hot water valve. Just to show you where the hot water valve is, just to the left of the whole tub. 
on the back wall. Um, if it's if this thing's in a closet, good luck replacing that thing, guys. It's not easy. I happen to remove this thing. Anyways, next test, test 11. This is the cold water valve. Um, the hot and the cold are on the same valve, so it's one part. Easy peasy, if you can get to it anyways. If it's in a closet, <laughs> good luck. But uh, that is diagnostics in a nutshell. Um, I'll make another video going over air codes if you guys run into air codes on these things. Um, but hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Um, maybe figuring this thing out a little bit easy for you. But uh, I do appreciate you guys watching these things that I make here for you. And uh, if you need any help, uh, comment or anything like that below. Um, I do my best to help everybody. So if I don't get to you, I apologize. But I do get quite a few comments. Um, but anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. Have a good one.